so good morning everyone good morning once again right so i hope everyone have at least remember something about this chapter yes or no tell me or captures kar rahe ho tum log ha ya na captures kar rahe ho kya i guess because i have given enough time for solving okay yes okay very good very good everyone chalo okay so the topic that we are going to start today or the chapter that we are going to start today is uh, i guess one of the favorite chapters of class 10 right i i guess most of you would have enjoyed this chapter like or like this chapter then don't say sir who enjoys uh, physics or anything in class 10 right we just mug up no but i think that this is a chapter which is which was most interesting especially to those who used to like physics hai na right calculations how to find i personally enjoyed it a lot right how, finding c's parallel connections right hai na i personally enjoyed it and this it it is like this chapter is very close to us don't you think right can you imagine our life without electricity right think about it right without circuits i guess not right we cannot imagine our life without electricity right mechanics obviously mechanics right mechanics is the basic of everything theek hai chalo so let us see this chapter okay so before starting let's have one small recall test right let's revise our 10th concept the current is said to be in the direction of motion the current is said to be in the direction of motion of tell me negatively charged positively charged current doesn't have any direction none of these everyone please reply tell me very good avas easy easy these are the very basic easy problems very basic easy problems yes yes correct right very good positive charge hai na okay very good second when no electric field exists inside a conductor the free electrons tell me when no electric field exists inside a conductor the free electrons tell me what happens to free electrons what happens to free electrons tell me everyone think about it think about it okay okay i'm getting lots of answers now this question let us see this is a good one right this is a good one okay this is a good one okay third one third one right the force on the electron in an electric field is in direction of the force on electron in an electric field is in the direction of i guess this is easy this everyone can solve right tell me this one everyone can solve third one okay yes fourth one the capacitance of capacitor is the capacitance of capacitor is okay i'm getting answers i'm getting three answers the capacitance of capacitor the capacitance of a capacitor is i guess we have discussed this in last chapter right we have discussed this in last last chapter okay now fifth one fifth one the energy stored in a capacitor is in the form of tell me the energy stored tell me okay yes correct 
let's see the answer the first is possible charge correct second stays at rest right so basically the net position is same we will see net position is same okay so third opposite to electric field yes fourth independent of geometrical configuration yes hai na if is potential energy clear hai फोर्थ का गलत है आंसर आई गेस राइट फोर्थ का गलत है कैप्सिटन सी एफ कैप्सिटन इज दिस इज गलत राइट इट इज रॉन्ग है ना इट डिपेंड्स ऑन जीमेटिकल कंफिग्रेशन राइट गॉट इट इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ चार्ज इन पोटेंशियल ऑफ कैप्सिटन द आंसर इज ए ओके एवरीवन फोर्थ आंसर इज ए ठीक है राइट आई गेस एवरीवन गॉट दिस है ना फोर्थ का आंसर इज ए नॉट सी ठीक है चलो ओके सो आई गेस दिस वाज अ बेसिक आईडिया राइट Of what this chapter is all about, we have studied some concepts in previous chapter. So let us start. Let us start our topic, which is electricity. Now, before starting this topic, right? Before starting this topic, can you tell me what you remember from the last? Tell me from the last class, right? Not last class means not of class eleven. What we have studied in class ten about this chapter? Tell me what we have studied in class ten about this chapter. Everyone. Tell me, everyone, think about it, and tell me. We talked about so what is conductor, right? We talked about conductor, insulator, right? We talked about what is the basic definition of current. Yes or no? I am up. Right? Agree? Yes, sir. We study those things, sir. We remember, sir. Am I? Okay. So I can say what what. we have studied in class 10 let us let us recall it first hai na let us recall what we have studied already and what we are going to study in this chapter in class 12 so i told you that the basics of what we are going to study in this chapter is already taught in class 10 right so let us see first thing that we talked about was charges right i guess we have studied enough about charges in electrostat right the property of charge type of charge and all those things okay right the second thing that we talked about is conductors that is also covered and no, that is also covered in capacitance yes okay right okay So the third thing that we are going to cover is electric current. Now we want to know what is this electric current, right? What is this electric current? What happens, okay, inside a conductor? So let us imagine that I'm having a conductor like this, right? Let us imagine I'm having a conductor like this, okay? So this is a conductor, right? Which is connect, which is free, which is free. It is not connected to any battery or anything like that, right? So tell me, we will have a free electron, yes or no? Tell me, right? so my question would be my question would be sir if i'm having a free electron will it be will it be in rest like this tell me will it be in rest like this no the answer is no it will not be in rest okay it will not be in rest right why because every every molecule is in motion you know this right because every atom every electron is in motion yes or no because motion is associated with the kinetic energy or the temperature i can say if we have a conductor then every electron is moving randomly right randomly and until it collides with any other substance any other sorry, any other atom it will move randomly in a straight line but the net movement the net movement will be such a way that it will not change its position or in a regular time interval i can say that some net position of this electron will not be changed got it even though they are moving randomly the net position of this electron will not be changed okay right yes or no tell me yes or no i i i hope all of you are getting this right everyone is getting this
net position means somewhere that if at some point it is here after some time interval it will be still here after some time it will be still here right got it that is the meaning of net position okay right so this is what happens this is what happens when a conductor right is placed without any driving force right without any driving force so i can say this motion of electron is called as brownian motion brownian motion right or the random motion of the electron without any driving force is called your brownian motion yes so net displacement is zero i can say right in this case the net displacement is zero net displacement right is zero clear hai ab samajh mein aaya net displacement is zero i hope this is clear right this is clear now what will happen what will happen if we supply a driving force so let us see let us have a driving force over here okay so i'm saying that let us have a driving force which is a battery right a driving force is a battery na so let us connect with a battery right okay so the driving force is basically the battery so battery will generate electric field ha ya na tell me the battery will generate electric field so it will be positively charged right and this negative will be negative charge means high potential and low potential so in guys think about it right apologies i am i audible am i audible so can i say sir inside the conductor the electric field will be like this high and up tell me think about it yes or no high and up agree sir inside the electric conductor electric field will be like this from positive to negative okay now what will happen to the electrons tell me what will happen to the electrons now if electric field is like this so electron will experience a force now yes or no think about it very intuitive right so now the electrons now the electrons even though they are moving even though they are moving in the random direction right they will have a net force they will have a net force in which direction this direction yes or no net force in this direction because the electron is negatively charged so the force is opposite to the electric field okay right anyone have any doubt on this point anyone have any doubt on this point so i can say sir after some time after some time this electron right even though it will move randomly this electron will move from here to here yes or no right they will drift they will drift and now because of the action of this electric field even though they move randomly but after some time it will drift right yes or no i am not anyone have any doubt in this anyone have any doubt in this clear right so this 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 change right with respect to time is called as drift velocity theek hai samajh mein aaya sabko right this is called as drift velocity anyone have any doubt in this right tell me so what is drift velocity so drift velocity is rate of change of position right okay yes so net position is changing that's why that's why there's a velocity na right so the rate of change of position of electron right is your drift velocity anyone have any doubt in this tell me anyone have any doubt in this hi ana ha ya na everyone is getting this concept chalo okay very good right very good okay okay very good right theek hai so all of you understood the concept of drift velocity now let us go back to our basic definition of electric current so we know we already know right we have already studied in class 10 right so i can just say sir when you talk about current right so current is generally electric current right here current is electric current so it is basically what rate of change of rate 
of tell me tell me rate of charge passing through a cross sectional area cross sectional area Re yes or no hi ana right so i can say sir i can say it is written as dq by dt dq by dt i is equal to okay so this is a instantaneous current right this is a instantaneous current now when you talk about average current when you talk about average current right so we know so the average current is delta q by delta t yes or no okay right clear these are the things that we already studied see again charges passing charges passing when you talk about charges passing so you should tell me tell na so charges passing what charges passing this area right that is the rate na hai na that is why i am writing cross section area right charge how many charges will pass through this area in how many time okay sorry how much time so what is the unit of unit of current i hope everyone know this already so unit of current is what coulomb per second coulomb per second and it is also called as ampere clear clear everyone coulomb per second or it is also called as ampere so this is this standard unit okay anyone have any doubt in this tell me anyone have any doubt in this yes it is a fundamental unit right okay now so let us solve one very basic problem on this let us solve one very basic problem on this then we'll talk about drift current in detail okay so the question number 1 right the first question that we will have is i hope all of you remember this okay so if current is given as if current is given as 3 plus 2 tell me 2 by or 3 plus 2t right 3 plus 2 this is the 3 plus 2t ampere current is given as 3 plus 2t ampere okay so the question number a is question number a is how many coulombs how many coulombs of charge pass through a cross section area pass a cross section area Area, okay. Then t is equal to zero. Two t is equal to zero, right? Two t is equal to four second. Okay, that is the first question. Second question is what constant current? What constant current? would flow when the charge when charge is same as above in same time interval same time interval tell me question number 1 question number 2 everyone very good first one is easy no nishita there is a mistake nishita yes very good 28 is the correct answer everyone 28 is the correct answer
tell me everyone like okay correct correct samaj very good correct so it is easy first one second one it is easy okay chalo let us see guys i hope all of you have tried it hai na so we know sir i is equal to dq by dt so i can say dq is equal to i dt integration 0 to q integration p1 to t2 this is basic this is basic expression so this is what this is q is equal to it is integration of 0 to 4 because time is 0 to 4 this is 3 plus tell me 3 plus 2t dt so we know the integration of 3 plus 2t is what integration of 3 plus 2t is 3t plus t square because it is 2t square by 2 so 2 2 will get cancelled right so it is 3t plus 2t square yes or no ha ya na integration of 3 is 3t integration of 2t square is 2t square by 2 basic basic integration this is something that everyone should know right very good nishita correct now so it is 3t plus t square okay lower limit 0 upper limit 4 just put the value just put the value so it will be what 3 into 4 plus 4 square minus 0 upper limit minus lower limit it is 12 plus 16 is equal to 28 coulomb right easy enough easy enough done now when i told you right if the current is so if the charge is same right if the charge is same okay so q is 28 coulomb and time is also same time is also 4 seconds so what is the constant current so i can say the constant current is given by 28 by 4 That is your seven ampere. Yes or no? That is your constant current. Agree? Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? No doubt. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. So this is clear. Now, when you talk about types of current, right? When you talk about types of current, types of current right so basically we have two type of current okay we have two type of current so let us see let us see <coughs> okay so i can say sir let us this have i versus t graph right or current versus time graph theek hai this is also current versus time graph so let us have one current like this and one current like this what is the difference between these two currents tell me what is the difference between these two currents anyone tell me what is the difference between these two currents so i guess all of you can see that sir in this case current is always positive right current is always positive right and here it is changing right between positive and negative yes or no i can say it is alternating 
okay got it now depending on the polarity right depending on the change in polarity so i can say here polarity is not changing polarity is not changing is not changing and here polarity is changing yes or no that's why this type of current is called as direct current direct current okay and here it is called as alternating current got it yes or no right but even though even though the polarity is not changing the current is changing yes or no yes or no right so that is that is called as variable dc it is your variable right this is your variable dc okay now if i have drawn a graph like this if i have drawn a graph graph like this so this is your constant dc but both are direct current both are direct current clear hai everyone clear yes or no everyone is clear on this right direct and alternating okay now let us talk about the direction let us talk about the direction so i can say for current to flow this is something that we have already studied in 10th right direction of current of current right so i can say for current to flow we should have two condition right we should have two condition right what are the two conditions sir first condition is there should be a driving force there and there should be a driving force yes or no i hope all of you remember this should be a driving force and here the driving force means potential difference yes or no potential difference okay got it and second second close circuit should be there right close circuit yes or no these two are the condition yes or no right now suppose i'm having a circuit like this suppose i'm having a circuit like this right i'm having a circuit like this okay i'm having a circuit like this okay and then i'm having a switch over here right so i can say sir in this case this is a positive terminal this is a negative terminal now according to this figure according to the first figure we know that electron moves from where to where so electron moves from negative to positive right electron moves from negative to positive but according to convention right according to convention this this current is basically the flow of positive charge when we talk about current it is the flow of positive charge so the current will flow from positive to negative right the current will flow from positive to negative theek hai right so this is the flow of current now but when you talk about electrons so electrons will flow from electrons will flow from negative to positive right so this is the direction of electron and the direction of current is opposite to direction of flow of electron clear here and this is just a convention this is just a convention theek hai so i guess this is clear this is clear okay very good now let us take one more example right let us try to understand this in a better way okay let us try to understand the basic expression for current in a better way suppose i'm having conductor like this
from my internet is unstable it says my internet is unstable just give me a minute yeah right okay very good so i can say sir in this in this some electrons are some electrons are crossing this cross section area yes or no some electrons are crossing this cross section area clear tell me and let us say that so this cross section is da this cross section is da theek hai yes or no so the rate of crossing is n by t n by t right number of electrons passing through per unit time is n by t yes or no hi ana right so can i say sir in this case in this case current current i right can be written as tell me what can be written as current tell me tell me or di right can be written as tell me think about it it is dq by dt but how many electrons are passing through per unit area so n is what n is number of electrons passing through per unit area n is number of electron per unit area per unit area okay n is equal to number of electron per unit area theek hai samajh mein aa raha hai yes or no per unit area per unit time Right, even better way. So n is equal to capital N per unit time into per unit area. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. So can I say? Can I say, sir? Sir, I'll just write the right expression. Current is basically current is basically. charge per unit time yes or no ayana yes or no right yes sir that is correct that is correct and charge is given by n electrons yes or no right here n is capital one okay n is capital capital n n number of electrons by time anyone have any doubt in this anyone have any doubt in this yes or no n is total number of electrons which is passing through this cross section area so if i substitute it if i substitute it can i say so it will be n right n into e into a i am not tell me yes or no Yes or no? Anyone have any doubt in this? It's pretty stuff. See, it is definition, right? By definition, I'm saying small n is number of total number of electrons per unit time per unit area. I'm defining it, right? Okay, okay, Samad, right? Okay, okay. Yes, here it is. Q is equal to any, right? Q is total number of electrons into charge of electron. Yes or no? Yes or no? okay right so okay very good now now next expression suppose if the electrons is moving with constant velocity vd if electron is moving with constant velocity vd right then what tell me then what think about it think about it everyone think about it if the electron is moving with constant velocity vd then what then what can we write as an expression 
what is the formula of s is a s is equal to tell me s is equal to what ut plus half it is squared think about it ut plus half it is squared hai na so suppose this this length is dl this length is dl right this length is dl and the electron moves this dl distance in t time in t time okay right so what can i write and initial velocity initial u is zero so i can say on electron the force that is acting on the electron is what qe hi ana the force acting on electron is equal to qe which is e into e anyone have any issue in this tell me anyone have any issue in this raise your hand raise your hand no and this should be equal to mass into acceleration of the electron right this should be equal to mass into acceleration of electron yes so acceleration of electron can be given by e e by m step by step everyone step by step yes or no tell me yes or no okay so i can say sir acceleration in one time period is given by e e by m okay e e by m right yes or no okay so what about what about this what about this expression what about this expression so this is for s and we know v is equal to u plus at v is equal to u plus at so can i say sir drift velocity is the velocity in one time period drift velocity is the velocity of electron in one time period step by step so initial velocity i consider as zero initial velocity i consider as zero theek hai yes or no yes or no right plus a and this time is tau a tau what is a so a is equal to this so can i write sir this is equal to e e by m into tau hi ana step by step yes or no i'm just writing a general expression right less confusing expression okay anyone have any doubt this is a less confusing expression right this is the one which is followed in hc verma in hc verma right now think about it now what is the mold or what is used for your boards right so for boards write it down for boards for the same thing now here i consider only on one electron i consider only for one electron but there must be many electrons yes or no so for each electrons i'm saying v1 is equal to what u1 plus a t1 right a tau 1 v2 is equal to u2 plus a tau 2 Yes or no, and so on. Yes or no. Yes or no, right? So my drift velocity, drift velocity should be average of average of v one, v two, v three dot 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 v n. Yes or no? Hi Anna. Think about it. This is what you have to write. This is what you have to write. Okay. Now. We know whenever we talk about average, average is what. So V drift is equal to V one plus V two plus V three plus dot 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 V n divided by n. Where n is the number of electrons. Anyone have any doubt in this? Okay. Now, if you put the value U one, U two, right? A A tau one, A tau two. so you will get this expression vd is equal to since u1 u2 is zero since u1 u2 is zero and a is constant you will get this a now this will be what tau1 plus tau2 plus tau3 plus dot 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 tau n by whole n anyone have any doubt in this tell me anyone have any doubt in this now this whole thing is written as 
a into tau average. So this is you have to done do for bolts, right? Three marks. This is you have to do for bolts. Three marks. Okay, right? Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? No clear. Okay, very good, very good, everyone. So in short, I can say drift velocity. The value of drift drift velocity is E E by m into tau, and the order the order of this drift velocity is almost equal to ten to the power minus four to ten to the power minus six. Right? This is the order. So can you say by this that the drift velocity is very very small, very small? Right? It is. Very small. Tell me, yes or no? Because it is of the order of ten to minus six, ten to minus four meter per second, which means the conductor actually, sorry, inside the conductor, the electrons actually move very, very slowly, very, very slowly. Okay, right. Now, now let us use this expression. Let us use this expression. Now, the thing is, right. That is the difference, right? That is the difference in H C gamma in another textbook. So I'll just write like this. So can I say the length? Suppose it covers a length of L in tau time. In what time? Delta t time. Suppose delta t time, which is a tau time. Okay. So can I say that this delta t is given by what was the speed, guys? What is the speed? It is v d. So delta t is basically this length by v d. Yes or no? Hi, Anna. Right, Anna. Okay. So can I say, sir, current is equal to delta Q by delta T, and delta Q is equal to what? Tell me, delta Q is what? Tell me. N E A L. Okay. Right. Why? Because because what is N? What is small N? If you see this. So capital N is total number of electron of electron. That is your capital N. Okay, that is your capital N. But here, right? I'm talking about small n. Small n is number of number of free electrons. Electrons, right? Number of electrons in conductor of length L in conductor of Length L. So much matter. Dhyan do. That's why I have written it. This is small n, which is number of electron in conductor of length L and area A, and area A. Okay. But here, here n was number of electron per unit area per unit time. Okay. So both small n are different, right? Remember this. So if you put these values, if you put these values, so what will be I? I will be. N E A L into now this is V D by L L L will get cancelled so can I say sir I is equal to N E A V D so this is the formula this is the expression for current in terms of in terms of drift velocity N E A V D that's it N E A V D that all you have to remember clear here you guys. Tell me, anyone have any doubt in this? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Are everyone getting this concept here? Sir, drift velocity. Me, if direction be included, then it will be negative. Will come, right? Yeah, here we are talking about magnitude. Okay, right? Yeah. I'm not bothering about direction. Okay. Yes. Because current is a scalar quantity, and by default, we have taken the direction of current. So no issues in that. Okay, that's why I have not used any vector sign over here. चलो ये समझ में आया? Now, I hope 
all of you have understood this i'll send this don't worry i'll send this theek hai now the next thing that we should note is a parameter called as current density current density so current density is also denoted by a unit j okay a unit j so current density is a vector quantity so by definition by definition okay samarth that is why that is why it is n na that is why small n is capital n into this right small n is total number of electrons theek hai okay samarth now current density so according to the current density it is defined as okay defined as current per unit area current per unit area per unit area as simple as that so i can say so j is equal to tell me j is equal to what di by da now this area should be perpendicular right which is perpendicular area okay so i can try to modify this expression i can try to modify this expression and say sir di is equal to j dot da j dot da because perpendicular area should be there hai na perpendicular area should be there and current is Scalar and area as well as j both are vector, right? Area is a vector, so di is integration of j dot da. So, what is my idea? Is yes or no? Tell me yes or no. Right? So, it is a vector quantity, and with the direction be same as electric field, right? And unit is what? Ampere per meter square. Unit is ampere per meter square. Okay. now let us see let us see can you find j using this expression tell me can you find j using this expression i and i think about it if i'm having this i is equal to n e a v d can i find j think about it everyone think about it sir i can say j is equal to i by a and i i can write as n e a v d by a so a will get cancelled a will get cancelled so can i write so this is equal to what this is equal to n e v d hi anna tell me yes or no anyone have any doubt in this point <clears throat> see how we are getting the formulas you don't have to mug up so all of you are getting till this point yes or no raise your hand everyone right very good ha na very good everyone sudesh jitendra shreya nishita sanya amish khushi khushi last class you couldn't you didn't attend did. you didn't attend sorry right so let us solve one problem right let us solve one problem okay the problem is the problem is this okay if If j is equal to j is equal to four into ten to the power four, okay, I cap, right? Ampere per meter square, okay, right? And surface area is given by surface area is given by Four i plus six j centimeter square. Find current. Everyone, try to solve this. Try to solve this. Everyone, please try to solve this. Step by step, everyone will try to solve this. 
putting getting you know so let us rewrite this j is no j we know s we know so we know that sir i is equal to j dot s as simple as that no issues here at all and here we have i component and here i and j component we know that for dot product we just take the same components simple so it is 4 into 4 i dot i because everything will become zero into 10 to the power minus 4 yes or no yes or no tell me right into 10 to the power plus 4 because of this j so here it will be what 16 ampere clear hai anyone have any doubt in this think about it dot product is a very basic rn you will be rn how it is 16 i it is a scalar quantity what you guys are doing right 16 ampere yes okay chalo so this is clear this question is clear next let us try one more problem i hope this is clear hai na this is clear basic problem right tanya got it okay very good now let us see next question so the question is this so a potential difference or i'll give this question as a homework right other words i'll give this question as a homework theek hai so let's come to next concept let us move to next concept okay so the next concept is relation between relationship between j and e right current density and electric field so let us see this we know that we know that current density is given by tell me current density is given by i hope remember you guys i hope all of you remember n e v d yes or no right n e v d and v d is given by v d is given by what tell me e e into tau by m hi anna tell me yes or no we just we just derived this yes or no right so if you put the value of v d over here can i say sir j will become n e squared e tau by m which is now n is a constant e is also constant time is also con constant by m right into e hi anna think about it anyone have any doubt in this anyone have any doubt in this no clear so this whole term this whole term is called as sigma which is basically conductivity this whole term is called as sigma which is conductivity right mass of electron na jitendra that is constant right theek hai so i can say sir this expression can be written as j is equal to sigma e anyone have any doubt in this any doubt anyone have any doubt in this right right and this only depends on this depends only on temperature for a given material for a given material given material right okay got it tell me got it now think about it if i say so this is ohm's law will you agree if i say that this is ohm's law will you agree tell me think about it if i say that this is ohm's law this is ohm's law will you agree yes or no tell me everyone aryan abhiram वेक्टर 
sigma is conductivity. So we know that one by sigma is equal to rho. Reciprocal of conductivity is resistivity. Yes or no? Yes or no? Tell me. Right? Okay. And E, electric field is equal to what? Potential by D. Hi, Anna. Anyone have any doubt in this point? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt till this point? Right? Think about it. Anyone have any doubt in this point? So can I say, sir, B is equal to I into sigma by rho D by A? Yes or no? Where this is a constant? Or if, if you want to write a familiar variable, if you want to write a familiar variable, Right, so I'll just write L. L. Now, what is this? Tell me. I hope all of you remember this. Right, this constant is called as resistance. Yes or no? Right, rho L by A. Got it. I hope all of you understood that from where we got this formula, rho L by A. Right, so V is equal to IR. This is your Ohm's law. This is your Ohm's law. Hi, Anna. Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? So this is also the expression of Ohm's law in microscopic level. Okay. Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me. Anyone have any doubt in this? Clear? Till this point, everything is clear? Okay, chalo. Very good. Very good. So let us give another trading, another topic. I will send this. Don't worry. I will send this. Okay. Ah, sir, so okay. I think say, Suppose Ohm's law. Ohm's law. Okay. So I can just say that, sir, if I'm having a conductor, if I'm having a conductor, right? Anna, so I can say that voltage between the conductor and the current will be, will be directly proportional, yes or no, right? And in order to remove this proportionality, we will put a constant, which is R, right? That's why V is equal to IR. Or R is basically V by I, right? So I can say, if R is equal to V by I, I can say that we will get a graph like this, yes or no. So this angle is theta, this angle is theta, this V by I is basically tan theta, right? Yes or no? Or I can say it is a slope, slope of V I curve. I and R, tell me yes or no, right? So if slope is more, resistance is more. Slope is more, resistance is more. Is also more. Okay, right? Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, right? Anyone have any doubt in this? Okay, and we also know, we also know that the resistance R is equal to rho L by A. Anna? And this depends only on material as well as temperature. So for temperature, rho is given by rho naught, one plus alpha delta T, and resistance is also given as R naught, one plus alpha delta T. Where alpha is F coefficient of, tell me, temperature coefficient, right? Okay. 
ओके ठीक है यहां तक किसी को दिक्कत है चल मैं यहां तक किसको दिक्कत है चल मैं नो ओके वेरी गुड ना सपोज आई गिव यू दिस प्रॉब्लम सपोज आई गिव यू दिस प्रॉब्लम सपोज आई आस्क यू दिस प्रॉब्लम okay this is a problem so this is a conductor right this is a conductor in the shape of frustrum right this is a conductor theek hai everyone think about it so this is area a1 and this is area a2 area a1 and a2 right so my question is question is which of the which of these are true so a1 right given a1 is Less than a two, it is given. Given, right? So which of them is true? Option A, option A. J one is greater than J two. Option B. J one is less than J two. Option C. B D one is greater than B D two. Option D. V D one. Is less than V D two, ठीक है, right? Option E, I one is equal to I two, ठीक है, right? Option F, E one is greater than E two, okay? Option G, E one is less than E two, ठीक है, right? Tell me. Which of these options are correct? Whereas that is the concept, na they move faster, but they collide faster also, na think about it, whereas, right? They move faster, so they collide faster, right? And if there's a collision, there's a resistance. Tell me, what is the what is the answer over here? okay so think about it everyone write down the formula first na write down the formula so we know j is equal to j is equal to what j is equal to i by a very basic j is equal to i by a i na this is equal to what n e b d right simple step by step step by step So I can say, sir, in this, right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. What is the area? The current will be same, na? So this is correct, right? This is first form. Current is same. First concept, sir. Size, कुछ भी हो. Current तो same होगा ना? हाँ है ना? Current तो same होना चाहिए. Number of electron that is entering this should be equal to the number of electron exiting this. So I will be same. Now if I is same. I is same and A one is less than A two. If A one is less than A two, don't you think that J one will be greater than J two? I am not. Right? Ulta is going to happen, and same thing goes for B D. Same thing goes for B D, and same thing goes for electric field also. Yes or no? Right? Simple, very simple formula. No. Extra concept, right? So it is a. Sorry, V D one is greater than my bad. Greater than, greater than, yes, greater than this one. Greater than, right? So A C E F, 
A, C, E, F. Okay? Clear? Everyone is clear on this? Anyone have any doubt in this? Tell me, anyone have any doubt in this? Okay, chalo, very good, right? So we have covered these concepts, and we have covered these concepts. Okay. So we studied this, we studied this. So tell me, what is the answer of this question, guys? Yes, first of all, we'll do, do this today, right? So tell me. Consider a circular loop made up of metal wire, a cross section radius r, a current i flows through a wire, and not as shown in figure, right? Tell me, right? Think about it, and not think about it. So tell me, what is the answer, guys? It is very easy, very easy. What is the answer? Very good. Okay, I'm getting only one answer. Okay, Jitendra. Okay, Rohit. Think about Rohit. Think about everyone. Tell me, what is the answer, everyone? Okay, right, tell me. Tell me, everyone, what is the answer I'm getting? Everyone should answer, right? Everyone should answer. Think about it. Think about it. It's a concept test. It is a concept test. Guys, it is a concept test. What is A? What is A? When you talk about in current density, think about it. In current density, it was what? Tell me. The answer is B. Because it is a cross section area, right? Cross section area of the wire. Hayana. Right? Got it? Yes or no? Common sense, right? When we talk about D, it is wrong. B is wrong. How? B is correct because we know current density is current per unit perpendicular area. And the perpendicular area is the cross section area of the wire, which is pi r square. Because r is the radius of the wire. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Clear here? Ye concept clear was of Kahatralo. Samya, Sanya, Mansi, Priyanka, Nashreya is present today. She is absent. She is present, right? Shreya, you are absent in last class. Kushi also was absent for most of the time in last class. Okay. Next, next concept test. Tell me this one. Everyone, very basic, very basic, super easy, super easy, super easy. Tell me what is the answer? Everyone should give the correct answer. Tell me. It is super easy. It is very, very easy. What is the answer? Everyone should answer. I got only Abhiram's answer. Right, OS. Only two answers, Abhiram and OS. Everyone, please respond soon. Tell me. Guys, current is a scalar or vector. Common sense, right? Current is a scalar or vector. What I said, current is a scalar quantity or vector quantity. Tell me. Yes, Rohit. Very good. Very good, Rohit. Very good, Samya. Right? Current is a scalar quantity. No, I can say, sir, current is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity and scalar quantity are 
quantities are added algebraically, right? They are added algebraically, right? So I one, I two will become I three. Just add simple without using any vector. Why to use vector, right? ठीक है. Yes, arrow बना के mistake कर रहे हैं. ठीक है. चलो. The answer is C. Simple. Right, because it is a scalar quantity, so we cannot add them as vectors. Clear here? Chalo. So let's see next concept test. Next concept test. Tell me, guys. Next concept test, everyone. Tell me, everyone. Tell me. Okay, OS. Okay, Samar. Okay, Nishita. Okay, Jitendra. ठीक है, ओके रोहित, सो सी लेट इस सी लेट इस सी, the first statement says, the first statement says, distance covered by an electron in t seconds is v d into t, okay, right, right, notice the question by the way, displacement of electron in time t is v d into t, which of the following is true? Now tell me which of the following is true? Tell me. It is distance. It is distance, and it is displacement. What we have? Wait, guys. I go. I was just waiting. Call. Okay. How it is? Do think about it. When you talk about drift, when you talk about drift, first of all, it is not distance. That is wrong. Right. That is wrong, है ना? Now, when we talk about second statement, so second statement, it is the average displacement of all the electrons. Yes or no? Tell me. Not one electron. Agree? Yes or no? Think about it. Right? I hope all of you remember the derivation when you talk about this. We even derived the formula. It was the average displacement. Guys, can you hear me? Right? Can you hear me, everyone? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. So it was the average displacement, average displacement of all the, yes, all the, very good. Now this topic, electron mobility, we have not covered yet. Okay. So we will cover this in next class. Okay. Okay. Right. So let's let's see one kahoot. Just give me a minute. The drift velocity does not depend upon. The drift velocity does not depend upon. Tell me. Okay, very good. Length of the wire, yes or no? Right, that that is the basic formula. Now that is the basic formula, right? Okay. Next. Ovas also made this mistake. Mm -hmm. 
Tell me. Okay, Hema. The answer is, tell me, this na, right? Yes or no? Basic formula, J is equal to sigma E and this is equal to any VD. So VD is dimensional to E. We have discussed this, right? Okay. Chalo, next. Okay, next. Mobility of field electron is independent of electric field. Now this is intuitive, think, think first, right? We will discuss it tomorrow anyways in detail, but think about it first. Yes, it is true, right? So 50-50 mar diya. Okay, anyways, we'll discuss the formula, right? Everything, but conceptually, right? You should have thin, thought. Next. Electric current, electric field and current density have relation. Yes. Again, same formula, na? Yes or no? J is equal to sigma e. In conductor, as temperature increases, relaxation time increases. Now, this is very logical. This is very logical. Yes, pause, right? Think about it now. It will decrease, right? If temperature increases, the electron will move faster. So relaxation, relaxation time will decrease. Very good, very good, Emma. How many electrons pass through a bulb in one minute if current is 400 microampere? Okay, Pradimna. See, you just have to calculate now, right? Number of electron passing through a bulb in one minute. So we know I is equal to Q by T, right? Simple. So Q is equal to I by T. 
right? So Q is equal to I into T. I was what? 400 into 10 to the power minus 3. And T was 60 seconds, right? So this is equal to what? N E. So N is equal to this by charge of electron, which is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19. Calculate this, you will get the answer. Okay? Next. The electron revolves in a circle of radius pi by 2 centimeter with uniform speed 6 into the power 5 meter per second. Find the electric current. Easy. Guys, only 14 answers, it is easy. See, think about it, no, think about it, right? VD is given, area we know, yes or no, right? Yes or no. So what is the formula of I, tell me, N, E, A, V, D. Now electrons, so N is one. E, charge we know, area we know, V, D we know. We can calculate, no? Right, that is the basic formula. Next. This is something that we have discussed, right? This is something that we have already discussed. This is easy, this should not take this much time. Yes, 10 power minus 2 centimeter. Yes or no? Because it was 10 power minus 4 meter per second. Right? So the answer is B, no? How come someone is saying 10 power 10 or 10 power 4? These are very high values, right? Next. When the current I is flowing through a conductor, then the drift velocity is V. Think about it. If 2i current is flowed through the same metal, but having double area, then the drift velocity would be, right? See the question, I'll just write it down over here. If current is i, drift velocity is v. Now if current has become 2i, okay, and area is also 2a, right? What is v? What is v? What is v dash? Okay, that is the question. Tell me.
easy this is easy this is very easy it should not take one minute super easy question yes pradimna okay very good Riya, Priyanka, Shreya, easy. I hope all of you can find it. Pradyuman, Nidhi, Mansi, Koshi, Kushi, Vinutha, Hema. I guess this should be done by everyone. Yes, correct. Guys, J is equal to I by A, na? So if I is to I. Right and a is also two a, so it will become what? Same, right? Same. B only. Last question of today's Kahoot. Last question of today's Kahoot. It is a very basic true and false question. If electric field is uniform, that is constant, current density will be constant. True and false. Thirty seconds. Is e is constant. Current density will be constant. Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Did I tell you that sigma is a constant? Which depends only on material temperature. So if E is constant, so obviously J is constant. Yes or no? Hi Anna, tell me. I hope all of you got this, right? ठीक है? चलो. So I guess सबको basic समझ में आएगा. Ovas, छः question सही. Abiram, आठ question सही. And uh, who is this? Arjun. आर्जन नाइन सही दस में दस किसी के सही नहीं हुए ठीक है चलो ओके फोर्थ इम्बा फिर सजेशन ओके बाय एवरीवन टेक केयर आई होप बेसिक समझ में आया होगा आई विल सेंड द लेक्चर एज वेल एज नोट्स इन द ग्रुप ठीक है चलो ओके बाय एवरीवन टेक केयर बाय बाय